She is best known for her role as Lauren Fenmore on the long-running soap opera, The Young and the Restless. She's also known as one of our friends here at Home and Family. Please welcome back Tracy Bregman. Welcome to So look, this is what I love about your career. It's, you have such great success, and it started like every other actor in this town does. <laughs> yes. They see a psychic. I, yeah. right. Or numerologist. Or numerologist, you know, or we whatever. All do. But yes. you, you did that after. You had some success when right. you came. You had great success, and then all of a sudden, it just started to slow down a little bit. Right. For you. I, you know, I'd been on Days of Our Lives for two and a half years. You know, at 14, things can slow down, <laughs> you know, as they do. <laughs> and uh, I had a nighttime series get canceled and was doing a bunch of guest spots. And then all of a sudden there was a little lull. And sure. so I went to this numerologist and she said, you know, your numbers are all off. <laughs> so <laughs> you I don't need know what that e, means. Right. What's your middle name? And I said, Elizabeth. And she said, OK, you need to use the E period Bregman. And then you need to put an E in Tracy because I was born T-R-A-C-Y. <gasps> You know, very yeah. suspect. Wow. Right, <laughs> very suspect. Yeah. And then I put the E in it. And um, within a couple of weeks, Wes Kenny, who had been our executive producer on Days of Our Lives, the first show I ever did, drove up in my driveway and literally was like, hey, kid, you want to do another soap? And I was like, sure. I mean, isn't that how everybody gets Yeah, of course. Wow. Right? Yeah. I'm just one of a kind, you know. So yeah. I'm just going to make my name Mark E. Mark e. I think I should go you with know, that. Because no one Mark else e. has done that either e. who's successful. <laughs> <laughs> Marky Mark. Mark. Exactly. Mark. Yeah. E. Mark, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, yeah, so he found it. So the rest is history, really. I mean, you went back and then you, did, right. you never looked back from then. Well, I thought it would be the greatest summer gig of all time. Yeah. I was like, you know, 19, sure. I, he said, you want to do it? I said, great for the summer. That sounds wonderful. And I you just never? haven't left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they forgot it was just for a summer. <laughs> Shh, don't tell what, what well, It's a long you, summer. Yeah, it's <laughs> the longest. <laughs> what made you decide to stay? Because you stayed for so long. You know, actually, it's the greatest gig when you're a mom of all time. Not only is it a great, unbelievable gig that I'm grateful for every single day of my life, just as an actor, from the challenge of learning 20 to 40 pages of dialogue a day and doing something new, and the speed is crazy. I think the cameras just, like, slow down for me and keep going yeah. to the next setup. But when you're a mom, because you're, we're shooting now six shows in four days, um, we used to do five shows in five days, I would either have a morning off or an afternoon off, so I was always able to either take my kids to school or pick them up. I was room mother for 12 years, PTA vice president, oh, you know, I was yeah. really able to do yeah. all of that. So I really got to do my two loves, be a mom and be an actress at the same time. And, you know, everyone says to me, oh, well, don't you wish you did this or did that? And I really have had the opportunity to do movies and to do a nighttime series. But what I really wanted to do was be a, a mom who was there. And right. I got lucky enough but to be But the business has been so good to you, Tracy, I assume, because one of your sons is in New York. And yeah. He's at, about to go. We're, we're moving him next weekend. Yeah, so New York. clearly New York. you would want him, actor. clearly oh, you would say, that, yes. which, oh, there yeah, he is. This is I have yeah. a better picture of him. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's my well. stepdaughter's son, uh, Ryder. Oh. And my other son, Austin. So he's so Landon so Bregman. He, he is yes. a lovely name. Perfect name, by Thank the way. Thank you. Thank yes. you. And he found an L. The <laughs> the wagon. It works. You know what? I should, I should have gone to the numerologist. Well, <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. But he, he loves what he's doing. He wants to be an actor, right? Well, he really wants to be an actor. And when he came to me and said, you know, this is what I want to do, yeah. I said, great. Then I'm putting you in an acting class. Uh, so he went to the Young Actors Theater. And it in was Glendale, an hour, actually, right? yeah, it, was in, it was an hour away from our house. And I figured, you know, if he was willing to give up his Saturday and drive an hour to class, stay in class for three hours where mommy had to find something to do for three yeah. hours, oh, no. an hour away from our house, and then an hour back and give up that time with his friends, then I knew that he would be dedicated and that's what he would really want to do. And we did that for two years straight. And then he and I took cold reading together for an entire year. Where we did the same thing, it was an hour away, wow. and we spent all day uh, Friday in class together, which was such an amazing experience because I really got to know that, A, he's very talented, and it's what he really wants to do. What about your other son? Well, my other son's in business, which is a good thing <clears throat> because he... Did he want he to does, act? Well, he does extra work on the show, and they called me one day and said, you know, do you mind if he does... 
uh, U5, which is an under five lines. And I said, sure, this will be great. I worked with Austin in the dressing room on the lines, and I got him on stage, and I, I kept working with him. The director came out and worked with him. The producer came out and worked with him. He had like two lines, right? And he finished work, and he got off stage, and I said, so we're staying in business, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna graduate that, that would be good. School, yes. Yeah. So well, I'm not one of the normal right. stage moms right. who's like, yeah, my kid's the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have worked with a lot of talented actors I've and actresses. What? Very so we fortunate. want to play a little face game with you here. Oh, okay. A little recognition. We're going to show you yes. some pictures. First thing, okay? Okay. Like a psychic, numerology, whatever. Is he First be thing here that comes. So I can actually yeah, see it. Yeah. Because so I'm not can... good far. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Because that, I'd be like, this is real big. Who are they? <laughs> okay. Uh, here is your first. Uh, when you see this. Oh, okay. So this is Deidre Hall. My first job was on Days of Our Lives playing her stepdaughter. And, uh, you know, before I got the job, my mom was a huge Days of Our Lives watcher. So when I got the job, my job was to come in and break up my favorite couple, which was Donna oh. Marlena. Oh. And home wrecker. Home wrecker, exactly. <laughs> so Deidre is one of the great people of all time, and she took me under her wing and was so extraordinary to me and taught me everything. I'm going to do this on the okay. next one, the first okay. word that comes to mind. Oh, do I only get one. This is well, my problem. No, that's right. One word. One word? One word. Awesome. Ah, what are we looking at? Christian Chris LeBlanc, yes, okay. who's my... TV husband and I would say one of the most extraordinary actors, A of all time, and most specifically in daytime. He's really an amazing okay. man. And that was more than one a, word. You get See, half a word. Problem. A half yeah, word. So you just get to make a yeah. sound all right. for this one. Oh, okay. A sound. Just a, a sound. sound. Like okay. a uh, okay. okay. Here it is. <gasps> <laughs> 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 what Starbucks? I don't have any. Oh, Douglas. So you know, during the performance, I asked her to slow dance with me. That's how much I love him, Douglas. What was the sound? Uh, yeah. Uh, Why we go. do that with you? Actually, Where's your phone? I'm surprised she's not on her phone and drinking her Starbucks. I know. Oh, look, Chris. There it is. 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 <laughs> Um, There's our Kimmy. <laughs> but actually, do we have the the other picture that we're putting up? Oh, like, so there. Amazing. You know, um, I brought my boyfriend Brian to the um, fan club event on Saturday, and we sat down with Jerry. And what I said to Brian is, this man made me his family from the first day I walked out on the stage of Young and Restless. And as Deidre did for me on Days of Our Lives, Jerry did for me on Young and Restless. And then I got the chance to meet his beautiful girlfriend and then bride and beloved. And uh, they are family to me, truly. Sweet. Oh, well, wonderful. Well, it's good. To, thank you for playing our game. Yeah, thanks. absolutely. Yeah. It was uh, fun. Young and the Restless weekday CBS. By the way, if you like Tracy's jacket, you can check out her new clothing line. It's I was admiring that jacket. It's beautiful. Yeah, Manhattan Malibu. Really, Manhattan Malibu.com, right yeah. there at the bottom of your screen.